What are the main findings of your study? So what we're looking at is to look at an enzyme, which we commonly have released when we eat food, which we've seen could be related to one of the major receptors in asthma called the beta-2 receptor. And what we looked at is, is this changing when I give albuterol? And albuterol is a beta-2 agonist. So what we did is we checked breathing tests at baseline zero, which is zero of time, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes to see if use in, in those with asthma and those without asthma, if their lung function changes at the same time as the salivary alpha amylase. And what we found on, in this figure is that it does. It does in healthy controls, which are shown in the broken line, and in the dark line, we see those with asthma. A significant change was found in both 15 minutes and 15 minutes and 30 minutes in controls. And what this means to us is that albuterol changes the way that our enzyme is secreted and activity and how this might matter in the future for in further studies is can this predict who may or may not respond to albuterol and if we expect that there might not be a response in those that might not respond to albuterol do we give them something else such as an atrophic inhaler another way that it can matter is a lot of those um, patients that have chronic bad asthma are on a combination of a long-acting albuterol or a long-acting beta agonist as well as inhaled corticosteroids. And it might come to a point where they won't respond to that medicine anymore. And so if we can measure this using a spit test, which is very easy, we might be able to tell when somebody might need to come off for a short period of time their inhaled corticosteroid and long-acting beta agonist receptor therapy to give their body a break and to rejuvenate those beta receptors to come back and be ready for that medicine in the future. That's where we're going with our study. How do you think this study will affect patients in the future? So I think that in a few ways we'll be able to potentially give them the right medicine if that will work for them and and that's our hope. And we also might be able to tell when their medicine needs to take a break in order to, to make sure that they can continue to get an effect by taking it away for a short period of time and bringing it back and that we can measure this using the spit and then we can reinstitute the, the medicine and hopefully get a better effect as we move on. That's what we hope to. Thank you. Thank you.